Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog. I decided to just pick up the camera and start this vlog because I have a few exciting things that I wanna show you guys. So I'm gonna set you guys up, set you guys up right here actually. And I'm gonna do a little unboxing because I just got the final piece of art in the mail for my apartment. So, we are complete now and I can finally film an apartment tour and I'm so excited to show you guys this space because I've been living here since April and it's finally like all coming together or well like it's basically all finished now. Now that we have the piece of art for the living area, this kitchen area that we're in right now. I'll show you guys where it's gonna go. Let me just open it up real quick. Okay, so here it is. I'm so obsessed, it's so gorgeous. I don't know if I'm going to hang it above the console table or on this blank wall right here because I could hang it over here and then do the gallery wall above the console table or vice versa. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, where you think this piece should go and what you guys think would look best. I really um, value your opinion and I'd love to hear what you think. So leave a comment, let me know. And just a little in-depth detail about why I chose this piece because it is actually kind of sentimental to me and I wanted to get it because obviously you can see it is the ocean, but these waves are actually waves in Oahu, and Oahu is my favorite place I've ever traveled to, Hawaii. I just love it there. It's so gorgeous, and the first time I went surfing was in Oahu, and I just thought it was really cool because I can always, like, remember all the amazing things I did when I went to Hawaii and just, like, all the amazing memories I have from those trips, so I thought it was really cute, and... Just like a little cute reminder. I'm really into sentimental things. <laughs> and I'll show you guys, I got a piece of art from the same um, company or artist. And it says, I am busy hanging over the bed. I showed this in my last vlog. And this one is special to me because the ocean is actually Aruba. And then just has the little silver balloons in the middle. But I love Aruba. Tyler and I both love going there. So it was really cute that the ocean where this was taken is actually in Aruba, our favorite place together that we've been together. Um, so yeah, it was cute that we just like hung it over our bed. And I got the two pieces from Gray Malin, G-R-A-Y-M-A-L-A-N. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but they have so many different pieces on their website and I just think that they're so cool and they're all just like insanely gorgeous. So I'm really happy with them. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. Also, I just got ready. Clearly, I have makeup on right now. I came into my apartment to get dressed. I'm about to go out to dinner, and it is Friday right now. But I went down to get my mail before I get ready because I got a pair of sneakers in the mail. And I got these right here. They are the Nike Dunk Lows. And... I get a lot of questions actually about my sneakers. These are the Royal Blue, they're called the Kentuckys. I get all my shoes on either GOAT or Stadium Goods. I've been getting a lot of them actually on GOAT. I feel like it's just so easy. I have their app and I just put in my shoe size. I'm a size seven boys um, in Nike or like seven boys, seven men's. So I just put in my size and then it'll show you like convert your size over to women's too like when you put it in the app so i'm an eight and a half girls seven guys and then it'll show you like all the shoes that they have in your size and yeah i get a lot of questions about where i usually get my sneakers so i get them from goat if you guys are interested <laughs> but i'm gonna get dressed and i'll show you guys my outfit once I get all ready. Right now I'm wearing this really comfy jacket that I just got from Aloe. It has a hood that like snaps onto it. There's like little snaps, but it has a hood. It is so cozy. I love this for fall. Comes in so many different colors too. I'll link it for you guys. It's just like cozy and honestly reminds me of my dog. So I'm gonna be matching Milo this fall season. And I'm excited to just like wear this in the fall time because it's like so cozy and warm. But I'm ranting and I need to get dressed. <laughs> it's 
so cute. We just came to Boston Public Market. We've been wanting to come here for a while, but it's just been closed and they finally reopened. I think it's fudge. Oh my god, I love fudge. Mom and I used to come here when we had the apartment in the North yeah, End and we would get cheese and crackers and like make a cheese board. I love that kombucha. Me too. Boy. I think they're excited to be able to play. I and I can't wait for them to run around the backyard. Zussi, you like your new crate? Love it. I love it too. Emma got the same crate for Zeus as Milo has. I really like it. It fits nice in this area too. So I just took a shower. I actually just got home from, me and Emma got bagels this morning, coffee, all that, and then I had an appointment at Apple. I just got a new phone, so I'm really excited. I'm ordering a case right now because I don't have a case on it, and I didn't want to get any of the cases that they had at the store just because I'm obsessed with case to -fi cases, and um they are just amazing like they're military grade they're very sleek you can get like a design on them or you can even customize them and like put your initials on them i'll show you guys i have a few of my old cases that i just want to show for reference because they are sponsoring this video um this one was the case i had on my old phone and i'm so obsessed with it i don't know if i'm going to buy the same one or pick out a new one but i really loved this one and then we have little mm orange case and then just a red and a teal i love their cases because they truly do protect your phone and they also are just like very sleek and stylish i love how you can customize them and kind of like personalize them to like you and like your vibe at the moment so i'm gonna look on their website and i'm gonna order myself a new phone case and yeah, you guys can go to casefy.com slash Maggie and you can get a special discount that is only for my subscribers. So know that you can always do that. I will leave a link down below in the description so you guys can check it out. And yeah, thank you Casefy for always working with me. I really love them. I love their cases. I know so many of you guys have them as well. And whenever I meet you guys like in Boston or wherever I am, I always see that you have like a case to buy case and so many of you guys have told me like you literally got it because of me and you use my code and stuff, which I think is really cool and awesome. So I will have it down below, casefy.com slash Maggie. I'm gonna pick out a new case and then I have to go because I'm going to the Cape with Emma. Um, and we're kind of like tight on time. I just, we, I didn't expect to be at the Apple store longer than I was. It was a pretty long time. So I have to get going, but in my next video, you guys will see which new case I picked out, but I'm going to get a new one for my phone. I'm super excited. New case for the new season, I guess. I don't know. So I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check it out and yeah. Guys, I have so much to tell you guys. Hold on, I have to turn this podcast off. Okay, sorry. So, oh my god, I don't even know where to begin. Um, I have so much to update you guys about. This is so weird. So I started off this video and I went to the Cape for the weekend to stay at my dad's house. You guys saw, I took like short little clips like when we went to the beach and stuff, I honestly like don't remember what I vlogged. I'll have to like see what I vlogged when I'm like looking back at the footage and editing editing this video. But I went to the Cape for the weekend. We stayed at my dad's house, Emma and I. And I didn't vlog that much on the Cape like talking wise because I got the worst allergies and my whole face was like puffy and swollen and my eyes were like literally shut and I was like sneezing so much and just like absolutely miserable so I didn't vlog and it was so weird because 
I forgot how bad my seasonal allergies were because I had lived in Boston for so long that I just like don't get allergies here. We don't really have a lot of trees at all in the city. Um, but just being on the Cape, it was so insane. Like the ragweed, oh, it was so bad. I was, I had the worst allergies. So I didn't really vlog. Um, immediately got home from being on the Cape and I felt so much better and like my allergies literally went away. It was so weird. And it's been a few days since I have been back. Um, yeah, so today is now Thursday and I basically, as like a little week recap, Monday we came home, so we were driving all day. Tuesday, Tyler had a day off, him and I went grocery shopping. I had an appointment yesterday and then today, I had my workout this morning. I went to Emma's for a little bit, the dogs played, then I got my nails done. And I wanted to show you guys because I've been talking about getting my nails done, like getting long nails for a while. I've been like thinking about it forever and I talked about it in a vlog recently and I was like, guys, like I don't know what it is. Like I wanna get long nails, I've never had them before. Like acrylics, like the tips, I just don't know if it's gonna ruin my nails. And a bunch of you guys were commenting like, Maggie, do not do it. Like you have really healthy nails, like it absolutely ruins your nails. But then there was like the other side of it that's like, no, get them, they're gonna make you feel so good. So I was like, you know what? I'm just not gonna do it. I don't wanna risk like ruining my nails because I did have like really strong nails. And then after I uploaded that video and I like decided not to get them, the nail salon I go to, which it's called Mini Lux, and they only have them in Boston, Texas, and I think LA, or maybe New York. Either way, there's Mini Lux locations like all over Boston, and in two, I think two of their locations, they just got like a new product, and basically what it was is they have like healthy nail extensions they call them so basically what they do is they take like the fake nail and they put like gel on your nail and stick it on and it sticks just like it would like if your nails had like just gel on the top and they don't like do anything to your nails before like they just like clean up your cuticles file your nails and then like buff them like they would do like any normal manicure and then just stick them on and the way that they come off is they soak your nails like they do gel and then they just come right off so I was like that seems so much better for my nails than getting like acrylics and when they use like that tool that spins around really fast and they like shave your nail down that always kind of freaked me out but I got them finally. I want to show you guys my nails because they're so fun. So I got on this hand, we have green and blue. So we have the cool tones. I don't know what is up with the lighting on my camera right now. It is so bright. Um, but we have the cool tones on this hand. And then this hand, we have the warm tones. So we have like pink, orange. Oh, they just look so good. Like, come on. I love them. And I are making dinner right now. I have the salmon cooking. Oh, it actually looks really good. I might leave it in there for like another minute, but that looks bomb. Over here, I just have some sweet potatoes and Brussels sprouts cooking in the air fryer, which I'm obsessed with. I love this thing for cooking like vegetables, especially like sweet potatoes, I really love. I need to experiment with like chicken and other things, but I've mainly been just doing like veggies. And it's so fast and it just cooks them perfectly. So we're cooking those up right now. Like I just said, salmon's cooking. And what else were we gonna have with? You said Oh, but oh yeah. Well, we were gonna make like a bowl. And I have arugula. So we can put it like in the bowl. With that yeah, and with my dressing, bowl, which is right here. I definitely think we can put, like, take a bowl. We can do a handful of arugula, and then we can do the dressing on top, and then the salmon, sweet potato, and Brussels sprouts. Mm. Yeah, that one's the jalapeno mustard, and this one's the horseradish. Is it good? Spicy tastes like jalapeno. I'm excited about this one. I'm excited about this one too. I got these when we went apple picking from the little farm stand. Wait, I couldn't taste it. Just like different types of mustard. I'm such a big mustard girl, especially on my salmon. 
it's a must. We're making cookies. I made these cookies in my vlog a couple of weeks ago, the Fit with Cambry peanut butter cookies. I'm mixing all the dry ingredients. Emma's gonna do all the wet ingredients. <laughs> We're gonna add them together, make the cookies. I will put the recipe that I have screenshotted on my phone on the screen so you guys can screenshot that and make them, but they're so good. I was getting so good at learning when he like needs to go outside he'll go and sit by the door um, and he'll even like grab a shoe and run it over to me <laughs> so he's so good you are so smart you are so smart I'm gonna bring him outside I just got him some new food which I'm really excited about so I'll show you guys um, the food once we get in I just wanted to show you guys Milo's progress. <laughs> hey y'all, um, I have literally so many exciting things to tell you guys. Um, first, I wanted to give you guys an update about Milo's food. I'll show you guys the pack um, of food that I have in the fridge right now defrosting for him. And I ordered the farmer's dog for Milo. And basically what you do on their website is you answer a bunch of questions about your dog. So I did like Milo's age, what breed he is, his weight, all that. And then basically they come up with like a meal plan for your dog and it's whole real foods instead of like the highly processed dog food that he's eating right now, which is what um, was recommended that from his breeder. So I just kept him eating that until like I figured out what was gonna be the best option for him and I found the farmer's dog. I'm so excited for him to start eating this because you guys know I'm like so conscious of what I eat. So I just think it's super important for Milo to be getting the best of the best as well. And it'd be really good for his health and just like overall good for him in the long run. So we have the beef recipe, which he's gonna try out. I think he likes beef. He's been eating, where is he? Oh, he went into his bed. He's been, having like these little beef little treats that he likes so uh, i'm excited for him to try that um i'll show you guys the other ones that it came with so these ones were in the freezer there's a chicken recipe and then there's also a turkey it's legit like a big block of his food and they send you like a little um book and a kind of schedule to how to like transition your dog from their old food to the new food and it told me like how much I should be giving Milo and stuff like that so for his size he is going to eat half of a pack per day obviously it says it right here half of a pack per day it takes like 12 hours for one of these to defrost and then what I'm going to do is just like cut it open and then put half into like this half into a mason jar and then this half and then just feed him daily and then keep it in the fridge so yeah, it's super easy. They send it to you monthly. This is not sponsored. I just want to let you guys know in case you were wondering and like wanted to feed your dog some healthy new food. I feel like I just have so much to tell you guys. So also I got my report back for my ancestry, like my ancestry composition. I did like 23andMe. So I want to find out like where exactly I was from and all of that so i'm excited because i just got my results back it's so crazy so i am british and irish 47.2 percent french and german scandinavian um spanish and portuguese i'm greek and i am from western asia in north africa so yeah it's really interesting I am gonna like look into this a little bit more. I literally just like opened up the app and my results were in. So I wanna like look into it and read more about it. But I thought it was really cool that I am 99.2% European. And it like tells me all the different places where my ancestors are from, which is so interesting. And I literally thought I was only like Irish, Scottish, French, and Portuguese. And I am so many more things. So that's really cool. <laughs> and lastly, which I'm going to end off this vlog because I feel like this week vlog has been like 
ongoing for so long but one thing i did want to quickly mention and show you guys before i end off the video is my new jeans that i'm wearing and i just did like a whole um instagram story about them but they are from shop alley grace they are my custom levi jeans these ones i think are so cool because of the hem at the bottom i think that they're so sick and there's like this pleat down the front they're super high-waisted and they just fit so well and like these are levi's you guys and usually like i struggle to find any jeans that fit me i feel like jeans are the hardest thing for me to buy just because my butt and my legs are way bigger than my waist is and i know like other people struggle with this too and i think that just being able to customize a pair of pants which one is a really good investment because like levi's last forever and to be able to get them made like specifically to your body type and like your measurements like what i do is i just send ali my measurements and she will like make the pair of jeans to fit me perfectly and you can do that too like you fill out a custom order form on her website which they are opening up on october 11th sunday october 11th 6 p.m eastern and you can customize a pair of Levi's. I love supporting small businesses. Like I have been getting jeans from her for the longest time. She's the sweetest person ever. And I remember back when she was living in Massachusetts and she would make, oh Milo, and she would make jeans and shorts for me and they literally like changed my life. And now she's like thriving, living in San Diego. She has like a whole warehouse for the Shop Valley Grace like company. And I just think it's so amazing. Like I love supporting small businesses. I love everybody just like being able to like feel confident and comfortable in their own skin and not feeling like you need to fit into like any specific clothing because realistically everybody's bodies are so different and just being able to like have something personalized to you and that will make you feel so good it's just like the best ever so i wanted to tell you guys about that because i just got my new jeans in the mail i've been wearing them all day i'm so obsessed with them like her jeans are literally perfect such a great investment like i said and they're so so worth it um but yeah i'm gonna end off this video now because me and the little pupper are gonna probably hang out a little bit. He's so tired. I brought him to Emma's to play and Milo and Zeus were being so funny and like running around and playing so much and now he's so sleepy. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that it was like all over the place and I don't know, it was just basically like spontaneous. I've never really done like a vlog where I just randomly pick up the camera for a week straight and just film little parts of it. So I'm really excited to see like what I filmed and how it turns out because I kind of like forget <laughs> what I did even though it was only a week ago. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. Subscribe, comments, follow me on Instagram, do all that and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.